Hello, welcome to the studio. It's a beautiful autumn day here in Bristol and so I thought I'd show you one of my favourite things to do with autumn leaves which is to print from them. If you like what you see then subscribe to the channel um, and you can also see more about me and my work at my website ruthander.co.uk or on Instagram I'm at ruthanderprints. If you're interested in learning how to hand print at home um, my complete video course is available um, it's going to be starting on November the 1st and you can enroll now enrollment finishes on October the 30th uh, so just go along to my website ruthander.co.uk if you'd like to do that so I'll just show you what I'm starting off with here I've just been for a lovely walk autumn walk and I've picked up some leaves here and I was looking for kind of leaves that are quite flat you know they're not really really bumpy um, but have some interesting uh, lines, uh, especially on the back. These are red oak leaves. Red oak um, actually dry really beautifully as well. So you could probably just keep those, maybe put them between books and they'll print beautifully when they're dry as well. And um, so I've got a few of those. Um, this one here will, will print pretty nicely. I think beautiful color, but of course that's going to fade quite soon. It's inspired me on the colours front, and I'll try and mix a colour to do that. Uh, it's got these lovely veins on the back, which hopefully when we've rolled ink on the top of that will print lovely, really beautifully. Um, I think these are hazel, maybe? And again, relatively flat, and then I found this really big tulip tree leaf as well. So I'm going to be printing with those, and I've got some paper here that I've already printed on. So this is dry oil paint, thin layers of dry oil paint. This is all dry. Um, and it's just bits and pieces that I haven't really done anything with. So I'm going to print onto these. Okay, so one thing that you will need when you're printing with leaves, or printing with any objects actually, is a little bit of space. Because we'll need to roll ink out and then um, roll it onto our leaves. Um, and then uh, print. So you'll need a sort of an area where you can roll ink out and an area where you can actually take a print. So I've mixed myself this really lovely golden colour. Um, yeah, let's start doing that. So I'm going to just put some of that out. I'll show you two different techniques that you can do here. Um, one is a quite a simple um, rolling ink onto a leaf and printing from it. So I'm just rolling that ink out. I'm hoping this won't be too transparent. Yellow ink is very transparent. I have added a bit of white to it. it might not be enough, so we shall see. Okay, so I've got a nice even amount on my roller. And I'm actually going to put the ink onto the back of the leaf because usually that's where the most interesting lines are, the veins of the, of the leaf. And I'm rolling in all different directions to try and get the ink all over this leaf. And you may find that you have to really um, get into the kind of, you know, the, the crevices, all the little bits here and one other thing to keep an eye out actually for when you're doing this is what is on your roller because you get some really interesting marks on your roller in fact what I might do here is just roll those marks onto a clean piece of paper see what they're like okay let me now because it's yellow they're not showing up brilliantly but there are some marks there so be aware of that um, if I do a darker color later on I can show you a bit better how that works and those are great for like little collage papers you know or just keeping keeping them somewhere because they're they're often like sort of nice what I call background you know background texture background um, marks, background noise perhaps, got some nice marks on there as well. Okay, this is proving quite difficult actually to get all the ink right into the bits I want it to. And also just be aware that your first print is usually the lightest. 
So once you get going with these, you can um, you'll find that they print better with each print until, of course, the leaf starts falling apart a bit, which does happen. Um, you will get quite a few goes at it, but um, it won't be forever. So I'm going to place the leaf. Where am I going to put it? I think I'm going to put it here. Ink side down and I'm going to gently press it into the paper. Now because this is on um, dry, it, it's already dry this ink, it's not going to stick. So I'm going to hold it gently as I flip it over and then carefully lay it down. Now this is tissue paper so it is good at picking up lots of little marks and lots of little um, the little veins in the leaves and you can usually use fingers in fact fingers is often the best way to print these kind of things because you can really get in you can see there you can really get into each little bit of the leaf whereas actually with something like um, a barren it kind of just skims over the top now I'm not sure if there's going to have been enough ink on this it's, it's our first print so it may not be brilliant we shall see I'm just going to take a little peek ah okay yeah I don't think it's got all the detail because it's our first print. So what I might do here is, um, mm -mm, let's have another go. Let's, let's try, I'll show you another technique for putting ink on. And what we can do is we can roll ink out nice and evenly and in this case I want to roll it out big enough that I can place my leaf completely into it. Ooh, we've got a little bit of ink there that I don't want. I think that's come from the roller. Just, just try and get that off. Okay. So this technique can result in a few different types of prints actually. So what we do is we place the leaf onto the ink. So the back of the leaf is on the ink and we're going to press down gently. And what we can do at this point is we can take a print like that. And what we'll end up with, of course, is a silhouette of the leaf itself. Just a silhouette on the paper. And again, I'm using just plain tissue here. And finger pressure is also good. You can use your fingers and even your nails to get right into every single crevice. Okay, I'm going to peel that one away. Okay, so that's actually kind of just lovely in its own right. But then when we peel away the leaf, we've got a couple of things here. We've got a leaf covered in ink and we've got this sort of what we might call a ghost print as well. So what I think I'm going to try and do is... Um, I'm going to use this blue paper. And I think I'll print both at the same time. So I'm going to put the leaf ink side up and I've got this sort of what's left over of the ink here. And I'm going to place the blue paper over and see if that will print. Now I'm going to use my Baron here on the flat surface because it's flat really. And hand pressure won't really make any difference and then I'm going to use it briefly over the leaf and then use my fingers as well I think 
So I'm hoping that the leaf has picked up quite a lot of the ink that I put down, that I pressed it into. I can see it's kind of coming through, but whether it's picking up the detail, I'm not sure. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. So, that's a much better print there. So that's a lovely print of the leaf itself. And then next to it, it's not so obvious, but it's, it's still a lovely textured print of what was left on the ink when after we pulled the leaf away from it. So we've got three prints out of that, really. We've got the, the print of the leaf, what we might call the ghost print. And we've also got the silhouette as well that we started off with. So it's a really nice technique, that one. Okay, so I've actually cleaned that colour up now and I'm going to use a darker colour here, an almost a black, a sort of bluey black. Um, and I'm just going to do the same again and I'm hoping this is going to show up a little bit more um, than the yellow. So again, I'm going to roll out a nice amount of ink and I'm, first of all, I am just going to roll it onto my leaf and just print like that. Um, bearing in mind that the first print is usually a little bit light. And again, I'm rolling in all different directions. The reason I use a roller rather than dabbing it on is you do get a much more even coat of ink and a thinner layer as well. Because you don't want, really with these type of leaves, you don't want lots of splodges everywhere because, um, you know, they're so delicate and you can get so much detail with them. Rolling ink on is a really lovely thing to do. So with this one, I'm going to just place it ink side up. I've got a little piece of paper tissue here, which has already got a little bit of colour on, light colour. And because I can see through the tissue, I'm just going to place it over. I sort of know where it's going to be. And these are great for, um, these are great for like making little cards or collage papers. I've made cards like this before and I can see already just with my finger pressure there that that is picking up lots of detail and the tissue is great for this because it does pick up lots of detail. I mean that, that looks rather nice, it's stuck to the paper, it looks rather nice just like that but I am going to peel it away. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's come out really beautifully, picked up all the detail, which is great. And then I'm going to try that other technique where we push the uh, leaf into the ink in order to get the ink onto it. So let's try that actually. I'll just scrape that off and put it here. Okay, so I'm going to roll a nice even amount out. Now, um, yeah, let's, uh, what leaves do I want to use? I'm just wondering, actually, I might use one of these ones. I've got a bigger piece of paper. I'm just going to roll that a bit bigger. And I'm going to place the leaf with the back down on the ink because that's where the veins of the leaf are. And I'm actually just going to, first of all, I'm just going to use a plain piece of tissue just to get that nice silhouette print. And also, it means that I can pr press down on that leaf quite hard, which means it will hopefully will pick up the ink onto it. Now, you can see here probably that um, the 
paper is not going right into every little nook and cranny. So one way to get these really fine details is just use your fingernail to get in there. And I found that that is the best way, actually. Um, sometimes the back of a spoon is quite good for this as well. And also press into the main part of the leaf because you want the ink all over that leaf. In fact, I might just use the baron at this point just so that I know it's pressed into that ink. Okay. So that's our silhouette. And interestingly enough, I think it's pretty, it's actually some of the pigment from the leaf has gone, and if you can see that, has pressed into the paper. Okay, I'm going to peel it away. All right. And I think I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to print the two things at the same time. So I've just got this piece of, this is tissue with a bit of kind of lavender color already mono printed on it, dry. Place that over and gently press down. Now with the flat area here, the ghost print, I'm going to use my Baron to try and pick up every bit of detail that's left in that ink, impressed into that ink. And I'm also going to use it on the leaf. I'm actually putting my finger quite hard down on the stalk of the leaf here because I don't want it to move. In fact, it has moved slightly, I think, already. Okay. And I'm going to use my finger. I think maybe finger actually, finger pressing is going to be better than using a tool for this. Okay, I'm going to peel away. And there we go, that tissue has picked up um, quite a bit of detail there on both of those prints. So this side I might maybe use more for as a background or for collage. This one is probably a lovely print in its own right, could be used for a card or as a print, a sort of botanical print almost. So there we go. How to print with leaves and you can have great fun. These leaves will probably, well, they'll last for the day probably and then they'll start kind of wilting. So if you go on a walk and you pick up some leaves, grab some, bring them back and print with them straight away.